Good morning from Panhandle Outdoors, America's only daily outdoor TV show. Your source for fishing, hunting, and information for folks who enjoy the great outdoors. Now sit back, relax. It's Panhandle Outdoors. Good morning, folks. Welcome to Panhandle Outdoors. I'm Winston Chester. I'm glad to be back. I want to thank my buddies uh, Ken and Stan and Bill and Greg for covering for me for a couple of days. We appreciate that. And here we are on a Friday getting ready for a big weekend and outdoors. So thank you for watching and let's move on with our weather brought to us by Haney Tactical Center at the corner of Baldwin and Highway 77. We're looking at a high today of 93, low 73. And the water temperature, when I, I come back, it's still hot. 80, 87 degrees with the water temperature. Our river readings brought to us by Mountain Dew. Take it outside with Mountain Dew. It's surprising to me. That is at a 2.3, and, it, and it's, it's falling a little bit, and it chalked a hatch at 0.9. I don't know if I've ever given reading below one. I've got 0.9, and that's from the, uh, you know, that's from their river readings up there at Caraville. 0.9 on the on the on the uh, Choctahatchee River. So I rode across it uh, yesterday. Matter of fact, it, it looked okay to me, but it, uh, it's low. All right, the tide chart brought to us by Kent Forest Long. Uh, good tides today. Uh, a little bit of neap tides. We got 2:41 was the high tide. It's going all the way out. It's going to be low after lunch at 2:19, and the, it's a full moon tonight. Today is Friday the 13th with a full moon tonight. So. Be careful out there. Uh, don't uh, <laughs> just be careful out there anyway. But it's going to be well lit up, and you don't understand now. A lot of times the fish bite during a full moon if you want to go fishing tonight. All right, and we're looking at east northeast wind. It's going to be keep your eyes on you know on the reports and all to see what's going to happen for the weekend. All right, let's uh, take a break. We'll be right back. Here at Ice Roofing, we understand the difficulties you encounter as you navigate through the insurance claim process. You may feel frustrated or unsure that you're getting the most out of your claim. Let our professionals at Ice Roofing guide you through the process. We can quickly point out options available to you so you can feel comfortable knowing you have a local third-generation contractor to help you every step of the way. Call us or stop by 29 East 10th Street. Ask about our 200-mile-per-hour lifetime warranty roofing system. Ice Roofing, keeping it local. When you think about what you love and how you provide for your family, finances always enter your mind, along with the ways you can manage and save. If you are thinking about your financing options, a boat, car, business, vacation, or mortgage, know that Panhandle educators understand the importance of a friendly, low-rate loan. Let us help you with what you love. Panhandle Educators Federal Credit Union. Together, we build community. When you're looking for sales, parts, and service for your outboard, all in one location, you're looking for BJ's Marine. You're authorized to Hatsu and Nissan dealer. BJ's Marine does it all. They have outboard parts and a service center and used motor sales too. To Hatsu, reliable, dependable, fuel efficient, and lightweight. To Hatsu Outboards, technology for the next generation. BJ's Marine, 1317 Transmitter Road since 1991. Quality, durability. This is no beefed up lawnmower like most brush cutters on the market. The Brush Ox was designed with one thing in mind, cut heavy brush. With its 26 inch quadro cut system powered by a 13 horsepower Honda engine, the Brush Ox ruthlessly cuts up to three inch diameter brush and saplings. Whether clearing ATV trails, food plots, or shooting lanes, the Brush Ox gets it done. All right, folks, welcome back. Glad you're with us this Friday morning. And on the phone, all the way from Carabelle, Florida, Sea Corps Marina, Captain Kim. Good morning, Captain Kim. Good morning, Mr. Chester. Thanks for the call. Well, listen, we're just excited to get to, to get to talk to you and all, and we just want to know what's going on in the east end of our viewing area down there around that beautiful area. Well, it sure has been a pretty week. Uh, we're getting some fat crickets in today, and uh, they've been using those up the river and catching all kinds of brim. and. Uh, Doing real well. Well, you don't, you know, I'm glad you mentioned it was fat crickets because you don't want to fish with a skinny cricket. <laughs> no, we sure don't. <laughs> so y'all y'all got crickets and worms right there, right? Yeah, and it's great because it gives you an opportunity to go up the river in case it's a little too sloppy out there uh, in the bay. So it's nice to be able to do a little bit of both. And they've been catching a lot of brim? Yeah, they have. Uh, they've been catching a lot of brim. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah, good size ones. They've been doing real, real good size. Oh, uh, good deal. Now, listen, I had not talked to you much about uh, down on way down your way. Uh, have y'all been getting into scallops this year? Yeah, there's uh, not been too many folks uh, that I've seen going out, but the ones that are going out are bringing back their limits, so they're and they're good size, so they're doing real well. Well, that's good to hear. Where do they go down to that area, roughly? It, a little bit towards Lanark, from uh, if we go out the mouth of the river, just to, you know, hang that left there, uh, just before Lanark has been pretty good with the with the grass and stuff in there. Good deal. Okay, uh, real quick, uh, trout and redfish, flounder, anything going on there? Yeah, they've been doing real good with that, just right here in front of the office, uh, and just down towards the towards the mouth of the river. Uh, so if you don't have to go too far for them, it's nice, especially if it gets a little breezy out there. But uh, they've been uh, getting those fish bites. For some reason, everything's biting on those fish bites, and it's great. <laughs> they get, the shrimp flavor is the one that's most popular. All right. But, uh, <laughs> they've been doing pretty good with that. Even heard them caught, uh, catching a flounder uh, the other day off, off of fish bites. They so, just put, are they putting, stuff. Are they putting a fish bite like on a jig? Yeah, mm, yeah the, well, both ways. The one guy had uh, uh, the trout and just used a regular hook. So either way, as far as I'm learning, they're they're catching it on just about anything anymore. That fish bite is amazing. It really is. I'm glad y'all yeah. use it. I'm glad y'all use you, you. You have them down there? Oh, yes, sir. We got plenty. We got uh, assortments of uh, awesome. the and the shrimp and crab. We got them all. I love it. A while ago, you said just catch, they catch them right outside the office. You, know, you don't get them better than that. No, that's for sure. It's fun to watch, too. <laughs> oh, great. Captain Kim, great talking to you, and y'all have a great weekend. You, too. Appreciate it, Mr. Chester. Thank you, and we'll see you soon. All Bye. right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hey, -bye. that's a good report right there. I, I love it when you, you catch them right outside the office. You work a little while and go fishing a little while. Uh, only in Carabelle, special place down there. They've never been, just need to ride down there and look around. Let's look at some pictures. I'm going to catch up on some pictures. I, I've been uh, out of town, and on the way out of town, Gail and I were run, going through Bonifay the other day, and I, I saw this old wooden boat behind a truck, and I made a U-turn right in the middle of downtown Bonifay, pulled up there, and, and we, it was a traffic jam. Two or three other guys in pickup trucks pulled up beside me and behind me. They wanted to know about this truck, about this uh, old wooden boat. I talked to the guy pulling it, and I, you know how I love old wooden boats. This is, a, this is a Higgins boat, okay? I'm sorry, a Higgins boat right here. And he bought it from original owner, he had a North Carolina. He was on the way taking it over there to uh, New Orleans or Mobile to get finished out. The Higgins, if you remember the Higgins brand, that, that's a company that made the landing craft on a D-Day invasion. Uh, they put them together down there in New Orleans. And that is an old wooden boat, 1947. And I just have a deep appreciation for old wooden boats. And we've talked about them before with our Carter craft. But, we made you turn the city manager of Bonifay. He pulled in behind me. He jumped out. And uh, this guy, boat is for sale. If you're interested, uh, uh, I think he wanted $20,000. I asked him, would it take eighteen? dollars he, he hesitated. I said, that's okay. I don't have eighteen dollars anyway. But anyway, it, that, that's cool. Okay, just briefly up there. I went up there to Tennessee to visit with my kids. And uh, this is what they do after church. Isn't that fun? That's Mason, my grandson right there, his best buddy, just fishing. That, now that's on church grounds. That's not bad, is it? Okay, how about Cassie Owens King, one of my former students? Always a good day when you're throwing 23 inches back, 23 inch redfish and they're throwing them back. Blessed to live in God's country. Good job there, Cassie. Great picture, great sky shot. And uh, I think I know where y'all are right there. Scallops, we, <laughs> I know. Y'all might be tired of hearing about scholars, but we're going into the last weekend, one of my former students, uh, Beth Allen, on the left there. And then, uh, I don't know that guy, Alex Fogg, but there at Blacks Island, you see the situation. And I know Bill and Greg talked about it the other day, but everybody gets some bag fulls of scallops this year. You know, pretty smile and a pretty young lady. I'm glad she's still doing outdoor stuff. Email, good evening, coach. Uh, I spent Sunday morning with my son and two of my grandsons fishing. I'm sorry, Saturday morning. He spent Saturday morning fishing with his son and two grandsons. We didn't catch many, but it was about teaching young boys and enjoying the day with them. Grandson Jeremy and Jarrett Rogers had a blast catching a few fish, and Granddad had even more fun. We enjoy your program. Thanks for all you do, Steve Rogers. Okay, so here's, here's Jeremy and Jarrett. Okay, a couple of pictures out on the river. And is that not a great shot right there? That's a framer. And later on, uh, that's going to be appreciated even more. Look at there. And you ain't got to catch a lot of fish, but boy, look at that smile. They're happy. 
Another picture, this comes from the big river, uh, David Burr sent this. These are the flies on a willow tree. Can y'all see them? I'm sort of blowing them up right there. Uh, there's one picture, here's another picture of them too, blown up even more. See all the flies? And I remember I've talked the last couple of weeks about uh, catching a lot of fish down the river, fly fishing and all, and, and this is what they're doing. They're catching some uh, as they get, uh, shake the bushes and those flies will fall out on the tree and all. Okay, uh, one more, then we're gonna have to take a break. David Rich at Rich's IGA in Weewall in search of a small mini goat that likes to eat cigarette butts out of the parking lot. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, you see a lot of cigarette butts in the parking lot, so that would be a good idea if you could maybe uh, start uh, raising some of those. All right, let's take a break, we'll be right back. GAC Contractors is the leading provider of road, site, and building construction in Northwest Florida. At GAC Contractors, we work closely with the owner, engineer, and architect to provide quality work that's completed in a timely and cost-efficient manner. Our gold standard level of quality is translated to projects of every size, from multi-million dollar design-build projects to building remodeling projects and residential subdivisions. Since 1958, GAC Contractors has turned a commitment to customer satisfaction into countless successful projects. Harold Milling Company, rough and tough dog food. Harold Milling Company builds it. They build hog feed, they build dairy feed, they make chicken feed. They have specialty feed for rabbits. If you got a worm farm, grandmother used to have a worm farm. Look at the Harold Milling Company. You wanna go down and get you, <clears throat> the dog's not running anymore. It's all over with. You wanna get that 16% uh, and drop down from the 26% protein. You don't want old Rover to get fat. Harold Milling Company, you can buy it almost any feed store in the Panama City area. Hey everybody, it's Brad Stevens coming from Sun Jammers Water Sports. If you're looking for a fun and exciting way to get out on the water with the entire family, check out the Hobie Eclipse Boards. We got them in stock, all sizes, all colors, ready for a free demo and immediate delivery. Swing by Sun Jammers Water Sports today to try the Hobie Eclipse Stand Up Paddleboard. Sun Jammers Water Sports is located at 1129 Beck Avenue in beautiful historic St. Andrews. I'm the neighbor that drives a Kubota. I scout, venture off the beaten path, tow, haul, fuel my passion to be part of a bigger picture. Right now, a Kubota RTV can be yours with zero down and 0% financing for up to 48 months. This is why I do it. Kubota. Soul Tractor will treat you right in so many ways you're bound to like one of them. Okay, welcome back. Glad you're with us this Friday morning. Let's take a look at uh, some, a few more pictures. We didn't get finished up. Here we go from Panama City Fishing Page. Scott Fitzgerald, we've been talking about the mahi bite. They have been catching a lot of mahi-mahi, and that's a good eating fish. That makes a fine fish taco, I can promise you. Uh, just a couple more here. I thought this is a cool idea. Look at this. This is a wood pile. Here's a better picture of it. Isn't that cool? There's plenty of wood out there. They make you wood pile like that. I like that. I, Okay, here's, okay, I got to, let me tell you the story right here. This is right here coming from uh, Middle Tennessee Christian School. Uh, we're up there watching, I uh, went to see uh, our Wendy and her family and, and their uh, daughter Ashley plays on the volleyball team, Mason plays on the football team, so it's a small Christian school. They got like 19 schools in the district, but so anyway, we went from Franklin to Murfreesboro to Middle Tennessee and, and the ball game was at the gym. When I'm at a gym, I just have this thing, it goes way back to when I was a kid. I like to walk down the hallways, look at old trophies and all. And a lot of times they put pictures up. Well, this picture, I was walking down the hallway, I'd never been to school, it was right there in Murfreesboro. And they've been to school since 1962. So before the ball game, I was walking around looking and, and on the wall they had all kinds of pictures of, of the student activities. You know, like volleyball, cheerleading, and you know what the school has. And, and I saw this picture of a kid shooting a gun. And what they have there, they have a skeet shooting team at their school. And I've never seen that in a, a picture of a kid shooting a gun in the hallway. I know it had a lot of negative connotations for that kind of stuff, but it is a great sport to shoot skeet, trap shooting and all. And I just, I just wanted to share that with you. There are some schools that actually do those kind of things, and it's a wholesome, healthy kind of things. And I applaud I applaud that school for doing that. It was really, really neat up there. So uh, I thought that was cool. And this is why, this is why having a pet door in Florida is a bad idea, okay? And I don't know if that's actually happened, but anyway, you be careful with pet doors. Okay, that's enough of the pictures. I wanna, I do wanna uh, talk about this a second. 
a lot of times I throw stuff out, uh, just ask you for information and all, or tell, talk about things, and y'all are so good at the viewing audience to send me feedback. And it, uh, you know, a lot of times I hope I answer, I try to answer 100%. Like I say, sometimes I, I get really, really busy. I might be reading something at a red light, and, and I, I, anyway, if I don't ever get back with you, please send it again. But we were talking about scallops the other day, and I know, uh, like I say, Bill and Greg talked about it. It's been a banner year, an amazing year. And I just, at the same time, it brought out the greed in, in some of our uh, uh, folks and all, and, uh, and I, I'm afraid if we're not careful, we're gonna wipe them out as far as the spawning stock. So I was talking about that, I was talking about the size and all that. One of our viewers, and I was talking about maybe shorten the season a little bit, put it around Labor Day just a little bit shorter, but she had a brilliant idea. Why not have a scallop stamp? And I said, wait a minute, why not? Because listen, we have duck stamps, we have elk stamps, moose stamps, and we got stamps for everything. And Ducks Unlimited, uh, we started this duck, the federal government started a duck stamp program many, many years ago. For the, because of the slaughter of so many of the waterfowl and they wanted to keep the population going and you can draw so much of a parallel between the scallops and the ducks. So they started that to increase the, the conservation areas, the wildlife, wetlands, and it's been a tremendous success story in the Mississippi flyway especially. What if we had a, a scallop stamp, $10, all stamps are $10, and, uh, you know, that money, it would go, I wrote down, I took some notes together. I got, first of all, you can buy a bunch of new cages. You know, we talked about these cages when we're talking about this, uh, here in St. Andrew Bay and all we people, uh, FWC was helping them, we're getting the little little baby ones, putting them in the cages and then they can spawn in an enclosed area. Just get hundreds and hundreds of cages all throughout St. Joe Bay and St. Andrew Bay. And what a great opportunity to increase your population. I mean, I, I got really, I was, I was talking about that and uh, the more I thought about it, you're talking about ten dollars, and all that money would go toward uh, the scallop restoration and uh, make sure the grass beds are in good shape, and that would be a tremendous. I, I know nobody likes anything extra like that, but you give us some thought and look at it realistically, and it would even with that kind of pressure we have on it now, it could sustain itself if we did that. So keep that in mind. And uh, I, I thought we could even start instead of Ducks Unlimited, we could start a chapter of Scallops Unlimited, but. That, that might be going anyway. And also put some money, set some money aside in a reward, uh, re to give people rewards for reporting the people who were being, you know, getting more than, than they thought. I had a friend call the other day. He, he said that he was up here in Panama City and so his buddy called him from St. Joe Bay. Hey, bring another boat down here. We, we got so many scholars, we, we need to put another boat so we can have, be on a legal limit. That's what's going on now with, with so many people and all. And some people going 10 and 15 times in this little short season. So. Uh, it, it's, it's something we're going to have to. Something we're going to have to handle now. If not, we're going to reap the consequences of a of a depleted uh, uh, stock of, of those. So we need to take care of them. All right. Also, I had a. I want to mention. Uh, speaking of feedback, someone asked the other day. I had a little video on my Catawba trees. Where can you get Catawba trees? Uh, I I can't remember the guy's name. Is up there in Alpha. Uh, the guy that had some. And I don't know if he still has them after the after the big storm or not, but if you know of anybody uh, selling catawba trees, in fact, I'd get a few more myself. Please let me know, I'm gonna pass it on to our viewers. And also the uh, dove shoots, so I'm talking about dove shoots, you got any kind of, anybody have any paid dove shoots? I have some viewers that would be glad to pay to go on a dove shoot. So keep that in mind as we approach the weekend and all, and uh, dove season opening up September 28th, which is two weekend, two Saturdays from tomorrow, it'll be opening up. So keep, uh, keep all that in mind, okay. Here we are, uh, let's go ahead and do, I got several more things. I put this show together last night on the bleachers of a volleyball game, so I uh, hope you appreciate it. You gotta get back in, get back in the groove. Tarpon Rock Seafood, giving away a $20 gift certificate. The winner's going to be, how about Mark Stafford from Parker. Mark's a loyal viewer. And, and we're looking at, for the big red snapper, Johnny Somerset. Two good viewers there, John and Mark, our winners today from Tarpon Dock Seafood. And we we took some uh, trigger fish and, and snapper up there to Wendy and her family, and, and they just, we just had the best time. They, I know they fish markets all over the country and all, but when you get it straight from the coast, it's, it's good. So we just, uh, if you get a chance to get some fresh seafood from Tarpon Dock, I would I highly recommend it, especially this time of year. It's just, it's just really good. Let's take a break. We'll come back with our famous Friday fishing report.
Hot sleeper? Night sweats? Don't suffer. The Sleep Center has the all-new tempur Breeze mattress, transferring heat away from your body, helping you to sleep up to 8 degrees cooler all night long. The Sleep Center, where it's bedtime all day long. l r Construction and 850 Roloff are locally owned, family owned businesses with great core values. They care about their customers and their community. l r Construction, commercial, residential, new construction, or remodel, demolition, land clearing, they do it all. 850 Roloff offers 20, 30, and 40 yard dumpsters. They are available now. Call today and receive the dumpster as soon as tomorrow. l r Construction and 850 Roloff are proud to help in the rebuilding of our community. Welcome to Lighting by LaVon at our new location in Lynn Haven. With 50 years of experience, LaVon has brought you Lighting by LaVon, your best source for quality lighting. And like so many of our locals, we are now rebuilding. Come visit our new location in Lynn Haven for the lowest prices and best service in the Panhandle. With free lighting consultations, free local deliveries, and so much more. When choosing all of your lighting needs, there's no better place to start than Lighting by LaVon. Service is what we sell. Bill Kramer needs to buy vehicles outright or take them in on trade. Our pre-owned business is great, and we need your vehicle this week to supplement our pre-owned inventory. Get a 15-minute no-obligation appraisal. We're buying Fords, Chevys, and Cadillacs. We're buying Toyotas, Nissans, BMWs, and more. You name it, we'll buy it. All years, all models. Nothing too old, nothing too new. Bill Kramer is buying them all, and we will not be outbid at Bill Kramer's Chevrolet Cadillac Buick GMC. It's the Mattress Model Closeout Sale going on right now. Save up to 50% on top name brands, including Tempur-Pedic. Stop in today, while they last, right here at the Sleep Center. The Sleep Center, where it's bedtime all day long. Okay, welcome back to our fish report. Now listen, we've got all kinds of things going on in a big tournament this weekend. Michael Harris's Season of Hope is going to be headquartered. Take a look at this right here. This is a Hathaway Bridge. We're going to be down here at this marina right here. See that big marina right at the foot of the Hathaway Bridge? And it's going to be a good time had by all, good music and all, waiting around 3 o'clock. and some good stuff going on, so you get a chance to go there. My first uh, report is going to come out of Choctahatchee, uh, Choctahatchee Bay and Choctahatchee River from Larry Brown. Uh, right here, lots of bait and mullet in the east end of the bay. Still only a few trout, but redfish are picking up. Now, this is coming from a guy now who fishes all the time. So this, this is about the best report you can get. Instead of reading online, this is coming straight from the guy, uh, my buddy Larry Brown. The larger reds are deep, mid-bay, mid-bay is best. Now right in the center part of the Choctahatchee Bay. So let's get over here to Choctahatchee Bay, where he's talking about. All right, right here. That's Powell Lake, Powell, Lake Powella. Okay, right here, Mid Bay, right there. And okay, we got it, Jeff. All right, now right Mid Bay. We're talking about Mid Bay. Water conditions are good. Color is good, and the temperature is 80 degrees. The river color is good, and the temperature is 78 over there. Uh, pick any plastic fish. Fish, eat it now, and you will have it, have it eat it. Okay, fish, and uh, eat it now. So anyway, good report from Choctatchee. Any plastic is working good. Now, let's go. I got a report from Kerry at the pier, and I uh, talked to him last night, and they've had a, he said it's hot. They've caught some kings at Panama City Beach Pier, and the big thing there at Panama City Beach Pier, all right, here we go, uh, the pier report, uh, four, they've caught four kings this week, uh, it's 87 degrees. The water temperature at the pier is 87 degrees. The uh, three, the three or four kings they've caught. Uh, let's see, Spanish. They're catching the Spanish, but the Spanish are on the small side. And overall, it's been a fair summer. This summer, he said, has been better than last summer. Last summer was really off, but it's been a fair summer. They've really been pleased with the fish they've been catching. And, and we, he and I both talked about, you know, the fall migratory run. We're going to have a uh, feel like we're going to have a good run this year, and it's going. But it hasn't started yet. Don't don't get excited about the fall run. It's still too hot and all. Uh, okay. Also, let's go down to uh, the bay system here. I did I did want to say the the redfish in the bay last weekend uh, on Saturday and Sunday and Monday night. I got a lot of pictures 
redfish were really, really hot last weekend in the St. Andrew Bay system. A lot of redfish were caught. You saw the picture I showed of Cassie Owens, and they were throwing back 23 inches. So it was just good all over. Uh, we have a, the near shore bite, of course, uh, you saw the picture right here. The mahi are still being caught near shore. They've been a good run of them for the last three or four weeks. They've been really solid. In fact, this is probably the last weekend that I will actually show. This will be the last weekend. I don't know how, what happened there. The last weekend, I'm going to show the, uh, I don't know where we are now. Uh, here we are. I'm going to change this to probably to a redfish coming up. I may put a flounder in there, but the uh, mahi bite's really good. Also, let's, let's go to Crooked Island Sound. Crooked Island Sound's been really strong. We haven't talked a lot about Crooked Island Sound. And it's been really strong with redfish. And surf fishing is still a little bit early. You got, you got to get up early. Speaking of getting up early, I wrote down on the, on the fresh water. <laughs> I said I wrote one word, early. The folks that are fishing fresh water going really early. They're catching them on, well, you heard uh, Captain Kim, crickets and worms. But fish early by 10 or 11 o'clock, you've, you've had it for the day. And it, again, on the speckled trout in the bay, he's talking about fishing early. Fish early, but if you want to fish a little bit later, they're going to be deeper. They remember how that heat is. It, 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 fish going to just go down. When it starts warming up, they're just going to go deeper. Okay, so if you're going to fish in the middle of the day, do fish at that time of day. Okay, uh, now also we're going to... Uh, Go down to St. Joe Bay one more time. Last weekend of scallop season. If you do go scalloping this this weekend again, uh, it's no no secret they're everywhere. I, I can't point out a hot spot, but they're everywhere. It goes out Sunday. I don't know why how the weather's going to be, but uh, it looks like it might be okay. The biggest thing this hurt us last time we went. We've only been a couple of times this year. <laughs> Ironically, we we just been so many things going on. But when you get that, and watch your weather, I want, I want to show you, if you get that northeast wind, and it looks like it's going to come out of northeast, what happened on St. Joe Bay, be aware of that, northeast, which is right here. And so if, and we were trying, I had my little granddaughter with me, and we were going to go out uh, and, and scallop in here, but all the waves, in fact, first time in my life I've, I've turned around and gone back from Eagle Harbor. I just. Uh, I just didn't, I've got a little 17 foot boat and you got a 10 or 15, 10 or 15 foot coming across here. If you got a small boat, it's a problem. You got, a lot of y'all got these bigger boats, it's no problem at all. And like I said, it's the thing to do this year, the cool thing to do, what everybody's doing, coming down the intercoastal waterway, right here to White City, coming out here, and then going back. It's a, uh, how long, people have said, how long does that take? It takes about on the average, according to what size motor you have. If you're gonna make that trip from Panama City to St. Joe Bay, It'll take a solid hour on, on a big motor and run it pretty, pretty fast. It's a nice run if you just want to do, combine boating and scalloping, great thing to do. But it's going to use a little bit of gas, but it's just a good family thing to do if that's what you enjoy doing. I personally like to just drive down there, get a boat ramp, and get out of there as fast as I can. So uh, anyway, the scalloping is going to be strong again this weekend. And uh, we're going to run out of time. So thank you all so much for watching Panhandle Outdoors. We appreciate the viewership. Y'all do something good today for fellow man. Have a great weekend. Watch your weather, and God bless. Thanks for watching America's only daily outdoor TV show, Panhandle Outdoors with Winston Chester, featuring hunting, fishing, and other activities and information to help you enjoy the great outdoors. Join us next time for Panhandle Outdoors.